Hi there. Today I'm joined by Sarah Jackman Reed. Hello, Hello there. Katie. And Sarah's going to show us a really lovely project using the XCut Shadow Box Builder Scene dies. And she's going to show us how to combine it with another one of our favourite ranges, which is gorgeous. Now she's going to show us some really clever techniques as well. Uh, you've got some die cutting you're going to show us, Quite haven't you? Quite a lot you? of die cutting. And on that one. also some stamping as well, I can see here. Yeah, so I can't wait to get started. Brilliant. Right, Sarah, what's the first thing we need to do? OK, well, I've got a 5 by 7 card blank here, Lovely. which I think works well with that size build a scene And die. the one we're going to use is the, uh, the fairground one, isn't it? It is. And these can sometimes look a little bit complicated, can't they, bit to daunting. start with? Yeah, I think um, so. But you do get um, some pictures on the front of the, the packaging as well, which will definitely yes. help. But um, you'll see as Sarah works her way through how, how these work. But as you can see, you get all these different... Yeah, it's a little bit bits and pieces. A little don't, bit mind boggling. I'm not quite sure what any of those going, are until you get fine. started. But okay, so we're going to start with our card blank. I've got one, two, three, four, five different pieces of paper. Oh, so these are all the different layers that you're going to use. So you've got the the pale one there in the background, and then the black and the brown and the the, uh, and the I've midnight just blush. Added and a little the bit green. of midnight blush. So it's a bit of a bit of a strange mix, but oh, I think I it works really quite works. well. I've obviously Particularly with her. Yes, yeah, so I've sort of taken her image and sort of matched it to her really. So we'll start with our green. So that's going straight on the card. Just straight blank. on the card. Okay. And then we're going okay. to die cut our first layer. Okay. You might want to have a look at the uh, the diagram. It also oh, gives I you see. sort of an idea. Uh, Once you've used them a couple of times, you know, you start to So you can see that the one we're going to go for is this it is. one that's like a big aperture rather than the sort of pictory ones. Okay. So with our express, what you, you want to cut upwards, don't we? So that's just another good reason yes, to tape it tape on. tape it first so you know it's in the right place. It's doing something. Come back as well, just in case. Yeah. So we've basically got our Beautiful. starting point. Now before I do anything else to that, I'm just going to put some little stars from the Fox stamping set. So you're just tapping your ink pad onto your stamp there. And then I'm just going to randomly add a few stars. And then here I've got one of the permanent right, pens. Right, yeah. Just going to use the very thin end and just do a very small, oh, quick... Oh, lovely. It's doodly border. Just a bit of doodling. It's quite relaxing actually, isn't it? Okay, so there we go. Very nice. That looks great. Really I think good. the black works well with yeah. that green as well. It does, I'm yeah. Sure. All I'm going to do is just a little bit of inking along the edge, just to soften the edge. You're so just literally swiping that along the edge, aren't you, at yeah, an angle? Just really, really gently. So that is our obviously our little base. Beautiful. So we need to start layering up now. And again, get the old craft tape out. Because that was my... I wasn't quite sure how uh, the best way to line these up, because... Uh, it, Again, it looks practice, a little bit complicated, but, doesn't it? But this you know, is perfect. If you've cut all your bits ready, I think that's just the easiest way. So you know way straight to away go. that that's going to work. Very good. Remember to take him out, obviously, before yeah. we cut it. <laughs> yes. Cut through all the layers again. I'll just check I have got that right. Yes. Good stuff. Wow, that's cut well. Mm -hmm. And the craft tape's really good for this, isn't it? Because yeah. it's quite low tack. It's not. It um, is. It doesn't. It's not it too doesn't. fierce. So there we go. There's our beautiful nice layer. And then we just have to layer it up. I've got some of these. These are quite obviously the big ones for mm -hmm. quickness. But if you you know you could use smaller ones. Yeah. Just the little pads. So we are going to just. So we're putting the pads on this side so they don't show, I guess. If yeah, you're putting so you, them on the yeah, other side, so it could you can be a work bit. Out where they need to go. So I'm just going to lay that one there. Okay. And then we will go for that. It just it's sort of, it makes it e perfectly easy to line up that way, doesn't it? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. We won't worry too much about what the back no. looks like at the moment. So now we've got our brown. Brown's next. It's so clever, isn't it? Because it literally so looks again. like it's behind now. And have you intentionally done the sort of darker colours to the back? So it's like they were sort of more in shadow, maybe like in silhouette. Yes, I have. Yeah. And then obviously just use that sort of pale, where the light would be at the front of your 
your picture. Yeah, yeah but you clever. Can, you can go either way, really. I mean, I've seen quite a few different techniques. Mm. It's just what you fancy, really. Yeah. You could definitely, I mean, obviously we've done the colours here to match the, the gorgeous girl there. But you exactly. like you say, you could use really vibrant shades like there is on the packaging or you know, bright reds and yellows. Lovely. And we're getting there. So this is our last die cutting layer, isn't it? It is. I really like that your layers are built up sort of inside the card. They're not necessarily sort of pr sort of proud of the front of the card, are yeah. they? You could, I mean, you could do them as high as you like. Yeah. You could go from the front. You could almost make a sort of box frame. Oh them yeah, really that would be nice. Sort of. You could, there's so many things you can do with these. So there we Brilliant. go. Brilliant. And then all I'm going to do then is just. Oh, I see. Just so to that's neaten sort of, it off, that's hiding that bit. the inside bit. And obviously, if you've cut all your Paper's the same size, it's just easier. Yeah. Put that on the back. Fantastic. So now we need to add gorgeous. Should we move the um, the express out the yes. way? Yes. Well, I have actually got one little okay. element I need to okay. do before that. No problem. We've forgotten our balloon. I'm going to just use that little oh, element. Oh, yeah, of the that's paper. great. And I will tape it. So because again. you're taping it on, you know you're going to get that bit where you exactly. want it in the middle of the balloon. She can't go to the fair and not have a balloon, no. can she? She looks, she looks a bit, a little bit sad that she hasn't got any candy floss either yet, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe we can so fashion her some later. Yeah. <laughs> what have we got? Can give me an idea now. <laughs> so we just need to add a few little bits. I've got her balloon. A little That's tiny good. bit of inking. I always think when you're having pattern paper on top of something else that's quite detailed, it always helps just add a little bit of inking, doesn't yeah, it? Just I to think define so. the edge. And then we've got our she's just from a decoupage sheet. Again, you could always layer her up yeah. with the other bit. And I've just got a die cut from the Midnight Blush again. That's the one. Mm -hmm. And just cut a piece of that out. And then you just stick it all together. Fantastic. I definitely think it adds new life, doesn't it? A little bit of die cutting and adding a different collection, you know, mixing collections so. together gives it a little bit more um, sort of longevity to your project, to your product definitely. as well, doesn't it? So even if you use get... all your papers, you can then use it with your die cutting later on. There's generally something left over, isn't oh, there? Oh, yeah. Oh, check her out. She looks great. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks wonderful. Brilliant, that's really come together. So we're nearly done. I've just got one of those little stitch ah, tag. Oh yes. So these definitely aren't just for soft craft, are they? You can use those no. on everything. Just gives it a little bit of sort of tactile, touchy feely it does, quality. And it sort of matches in obviously with our yeah. gorgeous image. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna use these brilliant punches. Wonderful. I mean you can't get for an embellishment, you don't really get much quicker than that, do you? No, that's perfect, isn't it? Just on that end. Brilliant. And then we've just got another couple of little bits. Just going to shake that that's a little nice. bit. That's nice. Got some of these lovely dome stickers. Oh, they're mm. special, aren't they? They're lovely. They're such really brilliant like colours. So we're just going to pop one of those on there. I like these because they're glittery, but they're not like they're not shedding ev everywhere, no, are they? They're, they're, they're sort they're of brilliant. encapsulated within like a, like a dome. Them. And then Brilliant. What we've got then a little bow. A little bow. I'll just oh, pop that on with that. Amazing. But fairly easy once you get the sort yeah, of used to the whole. Definitely. Looks a little bit complicated, but once you, uh, once you once you get going, it's really simple. And you've done another one, haven't you? Here, I which have. is in a different colourway. Now, is this the theatre? It or, is. Yeah. Yes. So this is the out the outsidey bits of the theatre, and um, the little uh, little. She's the ladybird, I think. I think so. Yeah. And then you've obviously used some of the gorgeous papers as well. Yes. So I really like how you've lined up your die sort of next to her. So you haven't, you haven't cut her off. She's I know, right there next this to means it. this has gone a little bit that way. But yeah. again, I think it just fits yeah. in. And the, and the pink works well with her little Just goes dress. to show she doesn't, doesn't always need to be in the middle, does it? No. That's just sort of the natural instinct is to pop it in the middle, but not at all. But but you've tucked these in there as well. That looks really great. A bit of bling there for her. Yeah, wonderful. 
Brilliant. If you've enjoyed Sarah's project, you can find all the details at docrafts.com. We'd also really love to see what you've been creating. So upload your project to your members gallery and we can pop along and leave you a comment. You can also share your projects on our Facebook page. So pop along and uh, like our page and then share your projects. Until next time, happy crafting.